Good morning and praise the Lord. This certainly is a great day that the Lord has made. And it's a, it's a day where, uh, as we consider all the things that are taking place in our life, uh, many times we rush to judgment. Many times we get so apprehensive that uh, we get frustrated and fluttered about just about anything. And that is when we just stop and we wait on God. And that is the subject of our, our devotional for today. Wait on God it comes from Luke chapter 24, verse 49. And it reads this way. And behold, I send the promise of my father upon you. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endued with power from on high. This is the words of Jesus to the apostles. He said, you can't go out uh, without knowing that you have the power that I've given you. The power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord sent back to the apostles, now has been provided for each and every one of us. The Lord has allowed us uh, great strength to do a work and his will. And we wait because the work still needs to be done. And there's much work to be done in this city. And as we approach the life of the church, as we approach the things of God, it is important that we hear from him. We don't rush because of flesh. We don't rush out trying to just do something as if what we're doing is a political campaign. We're not reacting. We're not responding. We are strategically moving in a in a, in a time, in a space that the Lord has given. Many people want you to do a lot of things. Do this now, do that now. And, and if you don't do them, it appears that you, that you have no sense of urgency. But the reality is that when you wait on God, the Lord will make the outcome better than trying just to do things on your own. And just because you do things on your own doesn't mean you make progress. It just means you've done things on your own. But when we trust in God, when we move forward in his name, the Lord will bless us, especially when we hear from him. Amen. I thank the Lord for you. This has been a moment of grace with Dr. Brazier. May God bless you and may God keep you in Jesus' name.